tonight, a picture of the deadly events that took place outside a Hilliard bar last night is beginning to emerge. Spokane police officers shot and killed an armed man outside of the Special K Tavern in Hilliard last night. It started with a 911 call. The caller said that there were two men fighting in the parking lot of the bar on the corner of Garland and Market. Police say when they arrived, a man, witnesses and family identified a KXOY4 as 34-year-old Jeremy Groom had a gun in his hand. Um, officers arrived. There was some type of confrontation. The suspect was fired upon and died in the parking lot of the Special K Tavern. Police asked him to stop to drop his weapon, which he didn't. That's when officers shot him. Because city police officers were involved in the shooting, the Spokane County Sheriff's Office has taken over the investigation. Meanwhile, friends and family are wondering why officers fatally shot Groom. They say he never pointed the gun at police. Today, KXOY Forest Colleen O'Brien spoke with the man Groom was pointing the gun at. Colleen, why were the guys fighting to begin with? Well, they weren't necessarily fighting. That's what it looked like. But his friend was actually trying to get the gun away from Jeremy in the parking lot of the tavern right there behind me because he got into his fight with his girlfriend in the parking lot. And the family spoke to us today because, yes, they are upset that officers use deadly force, but more so they wanted to speak to us because they want people to know that Jeremy wasn't a dangerous person, that he didn't bring a gun to the bar with the intention of getting into a fight. I just can't seem to hold on to the last memory that me and my brother shared together. We're wrestling and fighting. Robert says Jeremy was drinking, the anniversary of his mother's death weighing on him. Then a fight with his girlfriend sent him over the edge. I pushed him back, stepped back, and next thing I know he pulled the gun and was aiming it at me. With a gun in his face, Robert never saw police arrive. The cops, you know, they say put the gun down, you know, it's not even two seconds later they shoot him. You know, I, I don't think he had enough time to react to drop that gun. Robert heard four shots, then saw Jeremy take his last breath. To some, this is just another officer-involved shooting. We see the crime scene, we hear the reports, but this is what's behind those stories, a legion of friends and family. I wish I could have told him I loved him. I wish I could have told him that he didn't have to do it. But we can't take it back. A two month old baby girl who won't know her father. I wish I could tell him what a great father he was. And that Camille is always going to know that her dad loves her. A best friend who never imagined it would end this way. Yeah, I'm sorry for all this we put each other through in our life. And we never had a chance to really. Make amends with everything. <laughs> and now, questions. Why was Jeremy killed by police? He served and protect our country. Why not show him some respect? You know, why, why go in there with the shoot to kill? We expect to learn more about this officer involved shooting tomorrow. That's when an autopsy for Jeremy Groom is scheduled. Uh, we may know then how many times Jeremy was hit, perhaps the names of the officers or officer involved in this shooting, and then where the investigation will go from there. Reporting live in Hilliard, Colleen O'Brien, KXOY4 HD News.